Ahoy hoy, I'm Planner Walk, and I'd like everyone to please just do me a favour. Ignore my wet hair. Anyway, a few days ago I was talking with a flat earther, and this flat earther actually did one of the most epic debunks I have ever seen. That video that I just showed you is quite a few years old at this point. I believe a lot has changed about me since then. That video also made a mistake, but I believe that mistake has now been fixed. But the crazy thing is, is that the flat earther that we're going to talk about also stole a dog recently. So yeah, stick around for that. But before we get to that, I want to explain who we're talking about and what mistake I made. So a few years ago, a flat earther was brought into my Discord server. That flat earther went by the name Right the Hand. Now upon entering my Discord server, they immediately proceeded to just flurf all over the place. But in their flurfing, they actually debunked themselves. Also, they said a lot of completely incoherent things, like this. Second again, it appears to sink into Earth, back perspective vanishing point and the dimension angle of your view. Lots of words there. Not necessarily in the order they should be. Then you need to show me there is gravity. Then you need to show that gravity of strong enough to hold water to ball. Doesn't, doesn't make any sense what I just said. Now if you're reading along with that, you might have noticed that there was absolutely no punctuation there whatsoever. Maybe he knew that I was going to make a video and wanted to kill conspiracy cats. It's simply because air is not perfectly clear, especially air that is in top of the water because it creates a very dramatic cleansing effect that you have not seen the distortion heat will create on... Oh, what's punctuation? Heat will create on pavement. First, you know how small Earth would have to be for you to be able to see a boat go over the curb from the horizon. So yeah, we're not exactly dealing with the brightest of all the unused bulbs here. Anyway, because he did such an epic debunking of himself without even realising it, I decided, you know what, I'm going to put his channel in the description. That was the mistake that I made. But you know what, for giving me this brilliant video, you deserve to have your channel linked in the description. I just urge people, do not spam him with nasty comments. Yes, he's a flat earther, but he doesn't create Flat Earth content. He actually doesn't really create a lot of content, he has like two videos. Guess what sort of content he went on to make after that, and no, it was not playing video games. If you guessed Flat Earth content, you would be absolutely right. So yeah, because of me, he basically started making Flat Earth content. Oops. Anyway, over the next couple of weeks, he went on a few debates. One with myself, and one with MC Toon. During the one that he was on with MC Toon, well, this happened. So if I showed you the most complex math formula you've ever seen in your life, and I said, this confirms that I can fly like Superman, would you accept as fact that I can fly like Superman? I would, uh, I would look at it, and I would okay, analyze yeah, and it and see what? if it makes sense. If it okay, makes sense, right, right I the hand, I am, I am, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna pull punches with this. You have got to let him finish talking before you I start talking anything. again. I would look at it. I would look at your claim. I, and you see said, if you, any said you would look at it before. five times, and I've asked you, would you believe I could fly like Superman? Hey, and you just keep saying right I would look at it. I would you look need at to it. calm Give down. Answer, this is supposed please. to be a civil discussion. So if you're going to tell me that math, a blackboard full of mathematics proves I can fly like Superman, when you've never seen me fly like Superman, I'm leaving the conversation. So is that what you believe, yes or no? We've moved on. Let's go. No, I, I'm not moving. You have to say it. You have to say yes. Chris, I will believe... If you're not you moving on, on this, like this is a producer. Hey, of shut the hell up. If you can't move on, then you're moving out. Bye-bye. Jesus Christ. Well, that's wow. the shortest Flatterday Night fight. So yeah, that happened, and legend has it, to this day, we are still waiting to see that blackboard full of equations to see if he can really fly it like Superman. It also came out that a year or two prior, he was claiming that women should not take self-defense lessons because a man would just be able to overpower her anyway. And to try and prove his point, he ended up having a fight with Tara La Rosa. Um, how did that go? There we go. <laughs> so 
So yeah, he lost both rounds. Turns out that strength isn't everything, buddy. Anyway, the timeline of what happened next is a bit fuzzy as it was a few years ago. But there's this person you might have heard of called Mr. Sensible. He obtained screenshots showing that right the hand wasn't a flat earther and was just trolling people. He made some revelations. I'm not a flat earther. I was just joking. Chill, lol. Man really had you guys going. Bro, the earth can't be flat. There are videos. I've seen the videos. And the earth is clearly a ball. I'm not lying now because I'm saying the earth is a ball. That's the truth. Quite frankly, right, I don't care if you're flat or a globe. I don't think either side is going to trust a single word your lying mouth spouts out. Plus, I'm tired of sounding so dumb. Flat earth, Lord, well, I want to start arguing the globe since it's the truth. Now I can make logical arguments instead of having to be all, that's fake. But you were so good at that, right? So good at whining that everything was fake. Now, did Right the Hand stop making videos claiming that the Earth was flat after this? Did Right the Hand start making videos claiming that the Earth was a globe? Nope. Well, someone who really wanted to not sound stupid anymore, he sure said a lot of stupid stuff. Over the next couple of years, and some of this may have happened before the screenshots, as I said, I can't remember everything, he made videos claiming that 1 plus 1 equals 1. Oh, look. Just like Nigel Cheesy Hands. He also claimed that atoms don't exist and that he's smarter than a lot of people in maths because apparently when he was in third grade, he did well on a maths test. Oh, and he also tried to rewrite the laws of motion because he disagreed with them. And then we get to 2022, where a lot of people in my audience will have heard of him for the first time. Would have been the time when a lot of people in my audience would have heard of me for the first time. That is, of course, when he attempted to debunk Euclidean geometry. You may remember it. All right, so what is the point paradox, okay? That's a point. Let's just, we're going to make it a little bit bigger to work with, all right? So just picture that that, like that point, we just expanded it, right? We just, whoop, we zoomed in on it, okay? So this is the placeholder point that marks location, okay? Now, here's your problem. Is it here on this side? Is that the mark? Is the mark on this side? Is it here? Is it here? Is it in the center? Those kinds of statements are what earned him sixth place in the pseudoscientists of Christmas last year. And there's a few things we need to talk about in that video, because firstly, in that video, he did seem to deny that the Earth is a ball. And so this is why people, oh, well, there's, there's evidence that the Earth is a ball. Well, what did you sense? Did you sense the Earth being a ball? No. Well, then, that's not evidence. So three years after saying that he didn't want to look stupid by saying that the Earth is flat, he goes on to basically deny that the Earth is a globe. You can see why I might be a little bit sceptical about his claim that he was just trolling. But at the end of the day, troll or not, doesn't really matter. He's still saying stupid stuff. Now in that video, I did say something that did seem to annoy some people right at the start for some reason. Although the subject of today's video, whilst they are a flat earther, they don't necessarily just stick to flat earth subjects. They also spout transphobia! Yay. Now people didn't like me saying that because apparently transphobia doesn't exist or something like that. But I did see the video and I do remember it. Unfortunately, you're going to have to take my word for what he said in this video because I do not have access to this video. Anyway, if memory serves me right, he started the video by talking about people who have had their breasts removed due to cancer. He then goes on to say that if a trans man, although I don't think he used the term trans man, but if he gets his breasts removed, apparently that's offensive to people that have had breast cancer. Apparently choosing to cut off healthy breasts is offensive because you're choosing to cut off something that other people would have preferred to keep. That's not the worst part of it though. The worst part is that he said that he would enact violence on a trans man because of that. Obviously this is just a completely stupid thing that he said, which completely ignores the fact that, you know, some people actually shave their head to support cancer patients. I mean, last I checked, people that have lost their hair due to cancer treatments aren't mad at people shaving their head to support cancer patients. But you know, that's an idea for any trans men who are watching who want to get a mastectomy. Just say that you're doing it to support breast cancer patients. Anyway, with that out of the way, 
That brings us on to what has happened recently, where he stole his neighbour's dog. So there was a Twitter post made by someone claiming to be his neighbour. That Twitter post has now been deleted, but I do remember it, or at least enough of it. The Twitter post claimed that he stole her dog and then pushed her because he didn't like her being on his driveway. Now I did reach out to see if I could ask a few questions about what happened, but I did not get a response. Fortunately, I was able to see that she did get her dog back. So that is a good thing. But it turns out that it does go deeper than that, and it does make me wonder why she deleted the tweet. But let's go to Write the Hands channel to find out a little bit more about the situation. This is my neighbor, like... Ah, I can't show you the video because it has been taken down. That was all I was able to record of it. Anyway, let me tell you the context here. It appears like the reason why he did what he did is because he saw her getting in the car while the dog was at home, and then the dog walked down the street while she was driving in the car. And the dog was sort of running or walking in front of the car. Now what exactly she was doing, I have no idea. But that does not give you the right to steal a dog and then push someone. If what she was doing was so bad, you call Animal Rescue. You have it on camera. I do not know what was going through his head there. Maybe he just wanted to win a fight with a woman. But anyway, last thing. Why are there videos that I can't show you today? Well, his channel has been deleted. If we go to his channel, we can see that it's been taken down due to copyright infringement. Not exactly what I expected, to be honest. I thought his channel would get taken down by violating YouTube's community guidelines or something like that, but apparently it was copyright infringement that took him down. All I can say is, finally, the channel that I accidentally created is gone. It may be that he ends up returning under a different name, but he's not going to have all the subscribers that he had before, which to be fair it wasn't a lot. But with any luck, that is the end of Right the Hand, a story that lasts not quite four years, but ends in a rather undramatic fashion. Maybe he's just going to retire from this whole flurf business and work on that deck in his backyard. But either way, that is it for Right the Hand, which means that is it for this video. Leave a like and subscribe if you liked this video. Leave a comment letting me know what you thought of the whole saga and how long have you been around to witness this saga? I will see you in the next video. Between you and me, thank you for watching.